Boom, and we're back. Welcome to another episode of Stuff My Wife Doesn't Know I've Bought. <laughs> bought a load of gear, bruv. A load of gear. That's, oh. Yeah, a lot. It's a good job I know where they go, I think. <laughs> so, obviously, we're Dodson Pro Dealers uh, for DL800, which is Hurricane and R8 Transmission. Uh, so... This is a pro dealer gear kit. Um, so we've got both input shafts. Um, so they basically fit when the bearings are on. Oh, I didn't open it. Maybe. So because it's a DCT, they naturally fit like that, but with bearings in between them. Very nice. Yeah, I know. If I would have done a better job there, it would have fit better. But. Um, so this be this has bearings down a shaft and then this one rolls over the top and then when you drop the clutch in it engages on both input shafts so yes then we have got what we got main shaft second main shaft fourth main shaft seventh second shaft first second shaft third reverse we'll go through that one in a minute second shaft fifth main shaft six uh, pinion uh, rear case plugs and then the coolest pinion nut you've ever seen in your life so on the I wonder if I've got one in my box over there on the right let's go back so on the 156 trans the pinion is two nuts and you shim the bearings and then do the nuts up to a torque so that's how you set the preload on the bearing on the DCTs it's a, like a big spring washer, and they say spring washer, it really isn't. It's like a massive sleeve with a bellows in it, and you have to crush it down, and that's what sets the preload. So it kind of looks... Like that, right? And it sits down on the back of the bearing, like a so, and then the end of the pinion... Oh, be the boy. The end of the pinion comes up like that, right? Then runs down the inside. And you have got to crush this to put a circlip on it. And it is, there is a tool to do it, but it is the worst job in the goddamn world. So we originally made our own tool. The Dodson one admittedly is better than ours. It's only available to pro dealers, but the Dodson tool is better than ours. Um, mine was just a little bit more fiddly but it did the same thing so you go through the bottom of the pinion so we used a washer a big nut threaded bar like a so a spacer and then another nut yeah easy peasy the spacer though this spacer needed a bloody big cut out so you could get your circlip spanner in circlip plies in there to lift the circlip down over yeah. his, uh, and it was honestly it was like trying to decorate your living room for your ladder box <laughs> and it, it is no matter what tool you use their tool was just easier to juggle everything together so what this does is replaces let me just replaces that so what you do is pinion like so right circlip groove what you do is that nutty thing and i'll show you how it works drops down over yeah and it's like that you put the circlip on then you wind out it's a nut you wind it out so if i show you what i mean Circlip groove in the top, so sit the circlip on, wind it out counterclockwise, and it stacks up. See it? Very cool. It is. Trick. Get to the torque, provide the right torque, 80, 80 newton meters, I think it is. Then take the studs and the lock nuts, wind the stud through the top into the holes behind it. Can you see them? Yep. And then that stops it undone. Oh, like game changer. So we use these, because we can buy these from Dodson ourselves. We use these on every DL we rebuild now. Since I've seen they do this, oh my God, game changer. So we obviously take the circlip off, 
find a new sewer clip because they're not easy to find and then use these um, uh, pinion nuts yeah brilliant uh, and then end case seals uh, what I haven't got here is the uprated bolt kit so Volkswagen and Audi sorry Volkswagen Audi uh, do an uprated bolt kit anyway because they're aluminium bolts in certain cars and they stretch and then you get case leaks so there's upright bolts for that, but then we've gone, we've got titanium bolts for ours because remember where the pinion is and where the diff is, you need the bolts to be the right strength because the stress in the case. Um, so we've got bolt kit coming for ours. What is not here is the diff, the diff cover, the clutch, um, and then the sump pan, but that's pretty much the internal gear kit. So yeah, two shafts, all the gears, Second gear is what normally breaks on these uh, as stock. Uh, stock seconds probably limited to about 600 foot pounds. But remember a gearbox is a torque multiplier. So if your engine is making, say for example, your engine is making 600 foot pounds and your transmission first gear is three to one, your transmission is having to deal with 1800 foot pounds of torque because it's a torque multiplier. That's why the higher you go in gears, the less you see gearbox failures. It's always, if you're going to break a gear, it's normally jumping into second. And the reason that is, is you normally spin through first or have a degree of spinning through first. You normally limp torque limit. And then when you get into second, that's when you give it everything. So you take like your boost cap off. You've normally got full traction. Um, and then that's when things go to happy places, which is normally exit transmission case. And right come to our informants yeah so we've seen a couple clutches are the same billet uh, stock baskets they only go so far um and then things just jump out of holes that aren't there <laughs> so what's this this setup rated to what do you well if you think tx20 to txk to texas t whatever it's bloody called too many t's and too many x's <laughs> in my life tx22 txk i don't know TX22 is just finished, and you think Tony Paolo's car uh, with his wife driving, so that is baller. That is that's so cool to have. She's the fastest quarter mile R8 in the. If I've got that right, that it's the fastest 5.2 in the quarter, and it's driven by a woman. That's proper nice. girl, proper girl power, because that thing motors like a beep. <laughs> Seven six seven point six at two. Uh, go on, we do the check. Don't want to be wrong. Like, and not that shows where being smart is because Tony's late to the V10 game. Not late, but you, you think of all the other companies out there that have been doing it for years and years and years. Tony's literally rocked up, mic dropped, gone home. Um, where is it? Let's see if I can find it for you. Team and can. Right, here we go. Amy took the win the DC, in the DCT and reset the R8 world record to a 7.62. Okay, so maybe there is a... Yeah, Amy runs a 7.647 at 200 mile an hour. Jesus. That is Christ. insane. Mate. What, what power is the car making? Uh, that's got to be over 2,000 horsepower. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's got the gear kit in it. Yeah, there we go. So that's why everybody gets to a certain point and then starts jumping on gear kits. But you think... Uh, the event has just finished that was uh, AMS Underground T1 Sheepy Rob Tuned but there's loads now Ayers Motorsport um, so yeah the the GTRs are faster but they're way more modified if that makes sense they're like space framed uh, plastic bodies that sort of stuff so what the 5.2 stuff is doing is just 7.6. Like you can't... <laughs> you can't compute mate, that sort of thing, can like, you? That's, Jesus yeah. Christ. But ho like holding on to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nice. But yeah, so fair play. And like I said, girl power as well. Do you, do you know what I mean? So that's trick as that. But yeah, essentially that's the gear kit in it. So, so this is going to more than cope with the demands that you're yeah, going to be putting on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. I'm not getting into the, I don't want to do the drag racing thing. Because there's only one place in the UK, that's, that's why it's not big here. You can only go to pod. Um, so, no, for me, like we said when we started the project, I want 
100 to 200 so I want 3 seconds 100 to 200 so I don't know we we'll see what happens I want a stock engine I don't want to really do anything with the engine um, but we'll do gearbox just because it's a new gearbox is 38 grand so I don't want to throw the box out of the side um, but also it gives us a chance to show off the Dodson product you, you know like I said we're pro dealers for them so we've we've got to take kits um, to be a pro dealer so yeah let's build a box so I think um, I think uh, Dan and Lee are coming over to show us how they how to use their products obviously we build loads yeah. but show us how to use their products in a build so that'd be quite cool I don't think they're up for doing videos because I don't think they want to give away the trade secrets but we get some photos yeah um, they might but, be up for having a chat away from yeah, that about yeah, the yeah. And, yeah. yeah do you know what Dan would be a really cool one to talk to actually because obviously he's been in America all these years and that's that's where the forefront of these is um so yeah, I think uh, Litchfield do these and then obviously we do them as well. So yeah, it'd be cool. Good stuff. But it is pretty. It's pretty. It's almost too nice yeah, to yeah. put in. Super finished. Look at it. You know, real nice stuff. Super finished shafts. They're lovely. And what what, so um, nice. what composition are these? Do we know the... I don't know what material they are. I have asked. Yeah, I have asked what they are and we'll put it in the, we'll put it in the comments. But yeah, I mean, it is, it is real nice. It's real nice stuff. And you take the stock stuff apart and there is a little bit more of that sort of cast. Um, obviously, just, you know, that mass produced feel to it. Yeah. Um, you can take stock gears and you bloody cut your fingers on the gear edges, but look, they're even all sort of beveled over on the, on the edges. So yeah, they're lovely to be fair. Cool. So good no, stuff. it's all good. Where is second? It's that one, that's second, Jen. So that's the big boy. That's first gear, and that's second, so. Yeah, pair of shafts. So yeah, we get a box apart. We'll probably do a little video when I got another box stripped, because I think we took it when we had the cartridge out, didn't we? That's but right. it didn't have the gears stripped. Yeah. So what I might do is, me and you might do a video on a box stripped with gears out, um, and run through a little bit, a few more bits and pieces we know about that, and then we'll build a gear kit with, with them then. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, all right. It's not, we're not building a gearbox, but you can see what, goes into it yeah, so yeah, the absolutely. quality goes into it just need to get get diff sorted now so while it's out I may as well may as well just put a wave wave track in it so yeah all Lovely good job so enjoy my shinies 